Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you the difference between iOS 7.0.6 that we have on the iPhone 5C here, and the latest update to 7.1 that we have on an iPhone 5S here on the right. Both have cases on them, but you can see uh, with the Touch ID here it is a 5S and a 5C with the color. So you can see there's maybe something you've caught already is the fluorescent green color on the iPhone 5C, it's a little more aggressive, more on the fluorescent side. We're on the right with 7.1, they've toned it down a bit, and you can see that in the phone icons and the messages icons as well. They've changed that a little bit and made it a little bit less fluorescent, which I personally like an awful lot. One of the other things they've changed visually is the power off button. Uh, let me show you that, I'll hold both of these down and you can see on the right, they've made a significant change. I slide this and the screen dims. I slide this and the screen kind of dims, but it's, it's completely different between the two phones. They've replaced most of these bars with round buttons instead, and they've done that in the phone dialer as well, where they've done that with the actual call button, and I'll show you that. Here we have the dialer, and you can see the call buttons have changed, and this is true when you're receiving a call as well. The answer button is this button, and the end button is another circular button that's red instead of just end here. As far as additional changes, that's pretty much it as far as visual tweaks. They've basically made things round instead of this square box consistently across the operating system. Another change they've made is on the music app. We'll go into music, and we'll go to now playing, and you can see while they're different songs, they've kind of made the buttons more prominent down at the bottom. So you can see they've filled it in a little bit more. Repeat playlist. We can repeat all or cancel. Same here. So they've just made it a little bit more prominent. And one of the other big changes they've made is a change to the keyboard. So let's go to here. And you can see the keyboards here as well. On the right, the text looks a little bit more bold. It's not quite as thin as it is on the left and some of that can actually be changed in the settings but as default it's a little bit different same with the caps lock key if i tap on it here and tap on it here they're a little bit different double tap to lock it and that's what they look like now there's also been some speed improvements now it wouldn't be a fair comparison to compare these two phones as this is a 5s and a 5c but things seem noticeably quicker when you're opening an app or closing an app, and they've really fixed that on the iPad as well. An additional feature they put into iOS 7.1, they actually talked about when 7 was announced back in June of last year, it actually is CarPlay, and it allows you to basically have a simplified interface on a car stereo that's compatible. Hopefully it'll be coming to a lot of different manufacturers, some from Mercedes and Volvo have already been shown off, but hopefully you'll be able to buy it aftermarket as well. We do have some different motions when it comes to wallpaper, so if I go to wallpaper, uh, we'll go down here, and we'll go to wallpaper and maybe we'll choose a new wallpaper and this is a little bit different you can see here choose wallpaper we tap on it here and we'll pick on pick stills and then we'll pick these and here we have wallpaper preview or we have perspective zoom we can tap it and turn it off that reduces some of the motion on both of them as well there's additional Siri sound voices. Uh, they've made some additions to the cameras as well, as far as HDR, HDR off. You can see the camera is a little bit different. I do have the grid lines on here, uh, which is just a, an option, but basically they've made some enhancements to HDR uh, for auto instead of just on or off that we have over here. We have auto and it kind of intelligently decides if you wanna use that or not. We have some additional options under accessibility. So if we open this up on both of these, uh, we'll go to general and accessibility. And we have a few different things. If we scroll down here, we have a few more options such as reduce motion we had before, uh, but we do have increased contrast. We have some different options as well under these uh, as far as darken colors and reduce the white point. 
and let's go here and you only have increased contrast but we can reduce the transparency of things we can darken colors we can also reduce the white point of things uh, we also have button shapes we can turn on so it puts a little shape around the button here if that's something you would like instead we have that as well and there are little gems kind of hidden throughout the entire operating system that they've done that really make things nice to use now there's a lot of other little tweaks but those are probably the things you're going to to recognize right away and recognize the most uh, from pretty much anything else there's there's not really huge changes you'll find little things here and there and the phone is a lot more stable so there's a lot of little things and there's a list I'll leave a link in the description below from Apple of all the different changes but those are pretty much it as far as things you'll notice right away let me know what you think in the comments below what are the biggest changes you see and are you upgrading haven't you upgraded at all or if not why not let me know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time